How's it going everyone? Welcome to Gadget Sport at IFA 2017 in Berlin. So behind me is the Dell stand. I'm just getting a preview of what's to come for the rest of the week. So today we're having a look at the gaming setup. We've got the uh, new laptops as well with 8th gen uh, processors in there. And we've got this new sort of design going on as well. U ultra slim aluminium finishing and stuff. So it's really nice. And, and, and then we had a look at the new Visor as well. Mixed reality headset. Let the camera roll and see what we've had a look at today. So behind me is the Dell Visor, and this is mixed reality uh, window on Windows platform. And what I really like about it is the simplicity. You don't need an extra stand for tracking and stuff. In fact, if you come closer, we have the trackers built in to the headset itself. So that tracks the controller that you've got here. So when you place that on your head, it's nice and easy to track it without having to have a room scale sort of environment to do what you need to do. Uh, once you're in the VR environment or mixed reality environment, you have various rooms where you can put different things. So you can have your Windows desktop, which is following you around in the visor. And then what you can do is pin it to the wall. So if you want emails, you can have a room just for that. So you can almost set up a, a different office just for emails and work. You can have a gaming room where you can set up your games in there. You can have another room just to set up like cinema uh, sort of environment. And the controllers are really, really light as well. So again, for a prolonged period of use, you'd be okay. And the headset is comfortable as well. There's extra pad in there, just in front of your head. And on the back, you've got extra scroll uh, mechanism there just to help you tighten it to give you the best comfort as possible. So on the controller, you've got the joystick there, you've got Windows button, and a couple of other controls there, and the tracker that works with the headset. Anyway, if you have any questions about this, you know what to do drop them below in the comments area. So here we have the Dell Advanced Laser 4K projector, if I said that in the right order. But the main thing is this is a 4K projector and it's laser as well. And uh, what I really like about this is the fact that you can get really close to the wall and still get a large display coming out of it. And it's sharp, even in daylight, you still get a really good quality uh, display going on here. So I'm looking forward to getting my hands on this. Dell, if you're watching, you have my address. Supports G Sync and it can overclock to 120 hertz. So what this means that you'll get buttery smooth gameplay, and it's in a curved 34 inch. And 1900 means that it's more curved than a typical uh, 3800. So you get more immersive into the game, right? When you're playing, and it's a uh, white QHD. And what that means is that you get details, very fine details that you can see. So it has also the in-game centric uh, menu that allows you to choose the best type of games that you want to play on the monitor and uh, it's what the gamers have asked for to, be, to have customized in-game uh, menu settings yeah. so that, and it has the ergonomic feature it's able to swivel right, and height adjustable and it has a steady stand How far does it swivel? It's about uh, 35 So it supports also the four customizable uh, in-game lighting zones for the preference and it also supports the in-game lighting effects. So when the game says uh, when you're bombed, everything turns red, this will light up red and the back as well. So that gives you the more immersive feel into the game. Yeah. And we have about 150 titles, Alienware titles that supports the in-game lighting effects. Elsewhere, we had a look at the new XPS range and some of the other laptops like two-in-one range. Some of them features the new 8th gen Intel processor in there, which is really good. It means it's more efficient. And one thing I really like is that Dell paid so much attention into design form factor. So making their laptops very easy to carry around with you and uh, the design as well. you got less bezel on there. Something that I thought should have been there in the first place, but it's nice to have that on Dell laptops now. They look really, they look really snazzy. The aluminum finish, it's perfect and just makes it look a lot premium. There's fingerprint sensor there, which is embedded in the home button. So you can use that to unlock your uh, computer. You can use that to unlock your laptop. Um, again, just keeping it extra secure. Um, elsewhere, the screens look amazing. You can get 13 inch or the 15 inch versions and the new Dell XPS range as well. The screen looks amazing. Like, look at that. The HD screen looks amazing in different angles. The colors look sharp. It doesn't matter what angle you're looking at, uh, whether you're watching a movie, it's really good. One thing that the Dell guys mentioned as well is something called Smart Byte, and this allows the internet to buffer according to what you're doing. So it distributes uh, internet bandwidth to different things. If you're watching Netflix, you get less buffering. It means it just streams very smoothly rather than uh, each application trying to draw all bandwidth wherever they can. Anyway, this is Dell Booth. Uh, let me know what you guys think. Uh, drop a comment below. And if you haven't subscribed yet, make sure you subscribe and hit that like button and share. Thanks for watching. Catch you in the next one.